Welcome to A Word on Westerns. We love Westerns here, and we're going to talk about Westerns. In fact, Westerns were so popular at one time, NBC said, we want an outer space wagon train. <laughs> and they got it. It was Star Trek. And one of the writers, Dorothy Fontana, as DC Fontana, wrote 11 episodes. She was a script supervisor, but she also wrote some of those great Westerns of the 50s, and she is our guest today. Welcome, Dorothy. How are you? In the 50s, I was going to high school and college. <laughs> I didn't get to California until 1959, but I sold my first story to television, which was The Tall Man, in 1960, and I was 21. Wow. Well, the 50s were the inspiration for the big time in Westerns, yes, but they true. continued into the 60s. And, and The Tall Man, you mentioned, your first script, mm -hmm. and A Bounty for Billy, yes. uh, Actually, which was in story. the first season. You wrote the story. I guess this could have been a big question for our audience. Who was the guest star in that episode of A Bounty for Billy on The Tall Man that Dorothy wrote the story for? I'll let her tell us. Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I went down to the set to chat with him, and he was very kind to a newbie, and I had known him since 1960 then. That's great. What a, a strange turn of events that it was. It works. <laughs> you wrote several Tall Men episodes. Four. I did two stories, and then I said to my boss, Sam Peoples, who was the producer, and I was the production secretary. Uh, I've sold two stories, I want to do a script. And he said, you come in with a good story, you can do the script. And that's what happened. And I did two scripts then for Tall Man, so it was four altogether. Did you uh, go on set often then? I could, because I was production secretary on the show and the, the set was fairly nearby. It was so all I could walk on down. Universal, wasn't it? Review at the time, I think? Uh, yes, it was Review. Uh, you know, one of our favorites is Clue Gulliger. Yes. He's just so talented. Yes, he is. He just, and stole every scene he was in, too. <laughs> I know today uh, the, a showrunner has a room filled with writers and they break stories, and I don't think it was like that back then. It was not. You usually had uh, an executive producer, the producer who might have been also the creator of the show, you had a story editor or an associate producer. And that was pretty much it. And you had freelance writers come in from outside. If they knew the show and did it well, you called them back. And honestly, I'm involved with a couple of possible TV series. If I was running it, I'd do it exactly like that. Because in my experience in all these years, the person who comes in the door and says, hey, how about doing this story is the one you never thought of because you're so close to the material. How did you break a story back then? How did you pitch it to Sam? I just came up with it on my own and went in and talked to him. Um, most writers did that. Occasionally we'd give a story to a writer we knew could write it, uh, but mostly people just came in and pitched their ideas. Another favorite Western, The Big Valley. Yes. And our friend Arthur Gardner, who'd passed it 104. Yes, Levy Gardner and uh, Levin, yes. Was, the Big Valley episode you wrote, Bruce Dern I was did in two, there too. Two of them. What was that like in terms of pitching your story ideas to that team? Again, I just came in and pitched an idea uh, for both the ones, which was The Prize and Danger Road. Uh, Danger Road was almost all Barbara Stanwyck, which was great, but it was also all out on location. Um, the Prize did involve Bruce, and I was able to go down on the set and watch some of the shooting, and it was, it was an ex it's always an experience to be able to do that, especially if you're not on the show. They say, yeah, you can come on down. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that was really a great experience. But Barbara Stanwyck was so great. Whatever she did, you know, was, was just wonderful. She was so strong. And at the time, I think she was about 57. And uh, j just a terrific actress. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, she surely was. When you would be coming up with these concepts for the episodes, had you, did they give you access to the scripts or the actual shows to, to watch so that you would understand the characters? Scripts usually. Uh, occasionally they'd, they'd let you watch a, a, you know, an episode or two. But mostly it was reading the scripts and watching the show as it was on the air. Hi, I'm Rob Word. I hope you enjoyed A Word on Westerns. It's an interview series we do. We post a new one every single week. If you missed any, just sign up for this little baby right here.